Hey, what's going on? It's my name's Chopper. Today, I have a really, really cool cipher for you in Dur Eisendrak that actually answers some questions that we had in World at War. We're going to get into this one. This is a very, very cool cipher. Now, where it can be found, actually, is go out to this courtyard, then go into the church. And it can actually be found in the fireplace. Now, this cipher has a, it's just a list of numbers. There's no sort of punctuation. So, when this was decoded, we had to put it with the, our own punctuation in it so it would make sense. But once you actually decode this, this is what it says. It says, Mission Log Entry 45. I am over the site looking down through the open door, and I can see weird distortion below me, like a localized aurora borealis. I would normally cancel the operation, but we don't have time. Luckily, I have taken Experimental Weaponry version 3 that no one has seen before from my previous mission, Never Say Never, Peter. So for those of you who are new to the zombie storyline, you don't know who Peter is, Peter McCain is actually, he can be found in Shinonuma all the way back, back in the day of World at War. This is the only time we physically see Peter McCain. Now what he was, he was a spy. And he was, he got into 935 as an assistant, a research assistant. So he was spying on 935, trying to figure out what they were doing. And in Shinonuma, this is the only spot that we actually see him physically. And we hear about him in some radios and things like that on Shinonuma. But that's really all we know from Peter. We don't, uh, he didn't play a huge role in determining, you know, the, the zombie storyline. We haven't heard from him since World at War. Nothing in Black Ops, nothing in Black Ops 2. And we finally, in Black Ops 3, get a, what looks like a journal entry or a diary from Peter McCain. Now, uh, something interesting that Jason Blundell said right before Dirt Eisendrack came out he said this map is supposed to answer some of the zombies communities like the questions that we've had but also it's going to introduce some new concepts now and that was one of the questions one of the biggest questions that I had was whatever happened to Peter uh, you only heard about him like I said just minimally and I didn't know I felt like he had a much bigger purpose so this is what we kind of see from him we're hearing from Peter again and what I think is interesting, two things. He says, below me, like a localized Aurora Borealis. Now, if you guys know what the Aurora Borealis is, this is a, um, if you go to the North and South Pole, this is a fantastic uh, show of light. It combines with gases and this sort of thing to make this amazing light. You guys can go Google it if you want to actually see what it looks like. But he says localized, so it's in one location, and it looks like it's man-made from what he's saying. And I don't know what to really think of this in eyes and drop terms, but uh, when you make the Titan, the uh, gravity spikes, I'm just called Titan Slam again. You make the gravity spikes, you put them in, it kind of makes that 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 sort of um, I don't know that light show, which is similar to the Aurora Borealis. I don't know. That's just kind of what I was speculating. If there's anything closer to the Aurora Borealis in Dora Eisendrak, please let me know in the comment section down below because I can't seem to think of anything right now. So uh, he says one more really really interesting thing. He says I have taken experimental weaponry version three. That no one has seen before so version three what have we seen in the zombie storyline of new versions of weapons right we've seen the ray gun mark ii that is the highest version of the ray gun we've seen and we've seen the wonder Wolf dg2 now is he taking the ray gun mark three because we haven't seen a mark three yet and i think we are going to be getting a ray gun mark three don't quote me on that i'm going to talk about that a little bit later in a different video but either i think he's taking the wonder Wolf dg3 or the ray gun mark three it says version three that nobody has ever seen before so obviously we haven't seen it and uh, no one else has so this is some sort of probably experimental weaponry that we nobody's even laid eyes on except him and i feel like we're going to see it in the future so i wanted to show you guys this cipher really quick i thought this was super interesting we're hearing back from peter we haven't heard from that guy since for like seven years man it's crazy and there's plenty more ciphers to come, plenty more Easter eggs to cover. Guys, it's only getting started. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you do subscribe and make sure you do drop a like on this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.